Your testosterone levels are just too low to lose weight as rapidly as possible. And yes, you can lose weight if your testosterone levels are not high whatsoever and what I would say more so in the optimal range, but it's just gonna be very, very slow and it could actually get you to a point on your weight loss journey where you just stall and you just cannot lose any further weight. And no, this is not just an issue for men, it's also an issue for women, unlike what a lot of people believe and teach people out there. And for people that don't understand why, I'm gonna to explain to you full details now. So there is so many different scientific studies and information out there that shows when your testosterone levels are low, what is gonna happen is your body is going to increase water retention, it's going to drop muscle mass and increase the fat on your body as well. And there's another reason that goes alongside testosterone, why these effects are happening is, when your testosterone levels go down, estrogen levels go up. So a lot of people in today's world have issue with what is known as estrogen dominance. And also, what does estrogen do as well? It also slows down your metabolism. So, when you start jacking up your testosterone levels, your estrogen levels will go down and you'll start to get the opposite effects of all the different negative effects that I've mentioned that could have a negative effect on your weight loss journey. And no, I don't recommend the route that doctors would recommend that you do when testosterone levels are low and that is taking exogenous forms of testosterone in a pharmaceutical form because they come with a lot of unwanted and negative side effects short term and long term. And yes, there's so many professional bodybuilders, well, pretty much every single professional bodybuilder out there takes testosterone. But when you take most forms of testosterone in a pharmaceutical form that you put within the body, either through oral use or injectable form, it has aromatizing effects, which means it also increases estrogen at the same time. So that's why professional bodybuilders take aromatizing inhibitors. But again, you're taking another pharmaceutical that's not good for you whatsoever. And these things cost a lot of money and they're not addressing the underlying root cause of your low testosterone levels and your high estrogen production. So it's just a band-aid. And what happens is when your testosterone levels are high, even that exercise is gonna increase muscle mass, and muscle mass burns the most calories. And obviously the more calories you're burning, the greater weight loss results you're going to get. And it also helps with improving your metabolism because it's lowering estrogen production within the body. And when you're increasing your testosterone levels, your human growth hormone levels go up as well, which can aid you in getting the greatest weight loss benefits possible from whatever you're going to be doing for weight loss. So I'd recommend, instead of just listening to this video only, is do as much research as you possibly can on this subject to educate yourself as much as possible so you can go in the direction of optimizing these hormones. And you may be wondering, well, what are some of the things that increases estrogen production within the body? Well, the more body fat you have, the more your body produces estrogen. So the fatter you get, the more it's going to mess up your testosterone production at the same time. So as you start to lose weight over time, you will start to get better testosterone production and lower levels of estrogen production within the body naturally. Another thing that causes it is exogenous forms of estrogen, such as xenoestrogen, which is found within plastic. And a lot of people are drinking out of plastic water bottles, and you've got people that have microwave meals and so many other different things, even bathroom products and wash products and so on are just full of xenoestrogens and other forms of estrogen, which increases the estrogen production within your body and messes up your testosterone production. And I remember the other day I was in a Thai restaurant and I was like, what is this sauce for my girlfriend? And she said, it's sweet chili sauce. And I opened the bottle just to check and smell it and it just reeked of plastic. It was so strong. So what I'd recommend is just being aware of anything that you're putting on your body or inside your body and the packaging it comes in. So basically just being mindful. Don't have any microwave meals whatsoever. Try and avoid plastic or water and try to buy bathroom products and other products that are in glass containers instead. And something that has been proven scientifically to increase estrogen production within the body and most people are consuming this on a regular basis, especially people that eat in a standard American diet, is dairy. 
the amount that it goes up by is like so significant. I can't remember the amount, but it's absolutely crazy. So you want to be avoiding dairy all together. And a lot of people think that soy also has a negative effect on this, but I know a lot of people that have done experiments with soy and they've seen that their testosterone levels go up. And from what I've looked into, soy has actually been proven to inhibit the uptake of estrogen from external sources and actually help balance out your estrogen levels in a healthy way. So if you don't get these estrogen levels in check, you're never going to sort testosterone production out or whatsoever. And a very, very Big reason as well that can make the testosterone levels go low and the estrogen go up is having a variety of different micronutrient deficiencies with specific vitamins and minerals and also essential fatty acids, which so many people in today's world are so deficient in so many different nutrients due to the foods they're eating. And even if a lot of people are eating like whole foods, that are natural, the way food is messed around with in today's world, the nutritional density of food is just so bad compared to many, many years ago, say like 50, 100 years ago. Even if it's organic, most organic food is not very nutrient dense compared to food from a very long time time ago. And if you want to learn more about that, I'd recommend watching a documentary called Dirt the Movie, which is talking about soil depletion and monocrops and just the way food is grown today and messed around with and how it is just messing up the soil and the nutrient density of it. And then if the soil is depleted, the food is depleted and so on. And then yes, you become depleted at the same time. So the first one, which I've talked about many times on this channel before, and this is gonna be a free way, is intermittent fasting and also prolonged fasting. And there's so many different scientific studies out there that prove from about 10 hours into a fast, your testosterone production will naturally start to increase. And it will continue to keep going up every hour after that, up to about a three day period. When it gets to about day three, it will start to massively decline in production. And it's shown when you're doing it up to about three days, it will increase testosterone levels anywhere up to about 400% which is just absolutely crazy. And it doesn't cost you what so ever to do intermittent fasting, which is really, really amazing. So you don't have any excuse not to do it or even the prolonged fasting. So like I said, it could either be intermittent fasting or prolonged fasting. If you want to get the greatest testosterone benefits, then you'd fast as long as you possibly can. What I'd recommend for most people is eat one meal every single day. If you don't know how to do that, I'll put a link for a video up above. And then I would recommend throughout the month, throwing in some longer fast, so you can get an even significant increase in testosterone production. And if you're someone that has no idea about how to do extended water fasting, also known as prolonged water fasting, also put a video for that up above where I talk about that in full detail. What I want to say is I am someone that used to have low testosterone levels, but if you see in this test that I've done recently that I have more than adequate amounts of total testosterone production within the body. And it's 781 nanograms per deciliter. And if you look at the reference range, the high end is 836. So my levels are way more than adequate. And that is why I'm able to keep my estrogen levels low as shown here in this other test and why I can easily eat many different foods combined with intermittent fasting and keep a low body fat percentage with low water retention and very good muscle mass. And to achieve these results, I did all of the things that I'm recommending to you in this video. So this is why I'm sharing these ones with you specifically. So now let's move on to the next one. So for all the next ones, I'm gonna put articles down below where they talk about this in more detail. So the first supplement I'm gonna to talk about is zinc. So in 1966, a group of men were given zinc supplementation. And what they found after doing this for a period of time, it doubled their testosterone production within the body. And there's also some scientific research to show out there that when you take the zinc and the testosterone increases, the human growth hormone production increases simultaneously. And you may be wondering, well, why does this happen? Well, it is just well known that zinc deficiency will have a negative effect on your testosterone levels due to the reasons such as it increases estrogen receptors within the body. And when you have more estrogen receptors, your body's gonna naturally produce more estrogen and then your testosterone levels are gonna go down. 
And at the same time, it also makes your body start to produce a lot less androgen receptors, which androgen receptors are key for your body to produce an adequate amount of testosterone for your testosterone levels to be optimal. I think it's also necessary for androstenedinone to be converted to testosterone. And what is amazing with zinc, when you're gonna be taking it in supplementation form and also getting it in foods, it stops the aromatizing effect of testosterone converting into estrogen. So to put this amazing nutrient to use, you wanna take 30 milligrams of zinc once to twice a day. Obviously, if you're someone that's eating one meal a day, you just take 30 milligrams once a day of your meal. If you're eating twice a day, then you take 30 milligrams twice a day. And the more deficient you are in this nutrient, the more you're gonna to have to take. In the past, when my zinc levels were so chronically deficient for pretty much my whole lifetime, this had been ongoing, where it was just getting worse and worse and worse, I actually had to start taking 100 milligrams once daily for a short period of time and then start massively reducing the dose, which now I only consume around 20 to 30 milligrams once a day. And make sure you always take this with food because otherwise it can just upset your whole digestive system and induce nausea within you and cause cramping and so on. The next one is Gilachat, which you may have not heard of this before. So I'm gonna read out the information on this. And if you don't know what it is, it is a tar-like substance that is predominantly found in the Himmer layers. So this is naturally coming from the earth. And it has been shown that men given a twice daily dose of 100 milligrams of a processed gilajit for 90 days experience a 23.5% increase in testosterone production within the body. And also another study found that men given a twice daily dose of 250 milligrams of purified shira jit for 90 days experienced a 20.45% increase in total testosterone and a 19.14% increase in free testosterone level. And what the studies have found, the reason why this specific substance increases testosterone production within the body is due to a substance called a vulvic acid that is found naturally occurring within this. So you wanna be very careful when you are buying this substance. There's so many companies out there that just sell you a completely garbage shilla jit that pretty much has no vulvic acid in it whatsoever or very, very low amounts. So then you won't get the full testosterone improving benefits from it. So what I'm gonna do, as with all of the supplements, is put a link down below for one of the highest quality Jit suppliers in the world. And when you are taking this, you wanna take anywhere from about an eighth of a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon. I personally take half a teaspoon a day, and you can add this to juice, smoothies, or water. And what I will say has quite a strong taste. I normally just put it in a small amount of water and just do a shot of it and then chase it down with some coconut water and just get it down me as quickly as possible. Rather than whining and complaining, just get it in the body and get it done. And I would recommend doing this at least once to twice daily. The next one I've talked about on this channel multiple times before is I3C known as indenol 3 carbonyl which is a substance that is found naturally occurring in cruciferous vegetables and if you look into the scientific research and the information on this this amazing supplement has shown to block the uptake of estrogen within the body and remove excess estrogen damaging metabolites within the body that you do not want whatsoever. So due to these reasons, it's gonna help balance your estrogen levels. So if they're really high, it's gonna help lower them. But for anyone that's being concerned, it will not lower estrogen levels to a level that is unhealthy for you. And yes, when you're doing that, the testosterone levels are gonna go up due to the reasons that I've explained. And with this one, you wanna take this once to twice daily with food, do not take about food, otherwise it's not going to work as effectively and fully as possible and I'd recommend anywhere from one to two capsules. The more excess of body fat you have, the more I would recommend that you take on a daily basis. Second to last supplement is boron, which so many people aren't even aware of this amazing mineral, which is really essential for us to just have optimal health and hormone production holistically. So if I look at the scientific research, it shows here that boron boosts free testosterone production within the blood. 
And it found in one study, following just a one week of boron supplementation, 10 milligrams a day, the male subjects reported an average increase in free testosterone levels by 28.3%, which is significant by all standards. And then another study using a daily dose of 10 milligrams for four weeks also reported an upward trend in overall testosterone levels within the body by up to 114%, which is just absolutely amazing. But that's not all it does. It also has inhibiting effects on SHBG. And when you have high levels of this hormone within the body, it actually binds to testosterone that is found within the bloodstream and makes it so your body cannot utilize it whatsoever. And this is an issue that a lot of people have going on. So you really, really want to resolve the levels of this hormone being high. Otherwise you could do a lot of things to raise testosterone levels and actually increase the free testosterone levels within the blood. But when you go and get your total testosterone levels, you check and it still hasn't increased. So this is a very important thing to be aware of. And also another study found that it reduced estrogen production within the body in a very healthy way. And what they found is with 10 milligrams of boron daily, that it reduced estradiol levels by a whopping 39%, which is such a massive amount that it is decreasing estrogen levels within the body. But you need to be careful with this one because it has been shown from scientific research after using a boron supplement for about four weeks, your estrogen production will start to go up because it does have some aromatizing effects. But if you're someone that is taking zinc or and indenol free carbonyl, it's gonna stop those negative effects from happening. But if you're still concerned about it, what you can do is take it for four weeks, cycle off for a week, and then get back on it, and just repeat that cycle over and over again. And one last supplement I'm gonna recommend, I'm not gonna talk about any scientific information on this whatsoever, or any research on this specific subject. But as I mentioned earlier on in the video, so many different micronutrient deficiencies can cause your testosterone production to decline with your total testosterone levels and your free testosterone levels and make estrogen go up. So it's really good to take all of those different supplements that I've recommended alongside each other, but you also want to be making sure you're getting every single other micronutrient that you need. So the way that I make sure that I am due to the issues with food and the way it's grown and all the other information that I went on the issues with food and why it's so messed up and so deficient, you can take a multi-nutrient supplement that will cover every single different nutrient that may be lacking in your diet. And I've worked with so many people for years and years and years through coaching, and every single time I've worked with someone, I have found that every single person is deficient in so many different micronutrients. So, I would recommend taking the form research AM and PM Elite formula, which is a sports certified multi-nutrient supplement and it is the most nutrient dense multi supplement that has no toxic substances added to it, just like the other supplements that I've given you recommendations for. I didn't mention that early on, but so many different supplements, they don't have the most bioavailable form of each nutrient in which will stop you from getting the full benefits. And a lot of time they have a lot of toxic substances added to them that will have a whole host of negative effects on you. But all the ones that I recommended are free from any of those toxic substances and they are in the most bio available form. And with this supplement, I would always recommend that you take it with food and that you take three of the AM formula within the day and three later in the day. If someone's having one meal a day, you can have three of each together. But if you're someone that's having two meals within the day or even three, you can have three of the AM formula early in the day and three of the PM formula later in the day. But make sure that you never consume it without food. Otherwise it can make you not feel so good again within your digestive system, just like with the zinc supplement. So that's it for this video. And I would recommend that you go and get your testosterone levels checked before and your estrogen levels. But when you go to get it checked, make sure you get your free testosterone levels checked, your total testosterone and estradiol levels checked. You could do this for a month and I can pretty much guarantee you within a month of doing these things consistently, you're gonna see some massive, massive improvements that's gonna help you then optimize your weight loss with whatever you're doing on your own weight loss journey. So yeah, this is just gonna make your weight loss journey as easy as possible. Obviously, you're still not gonna lose the weight overnight. These are not some 
magic, magical substance that's just gonna make everything just burn off of you very, very rapidly. So yeah, I'm sure you know that, but a lot of people just want a pill they can pop to lose weight as soon as possible. So yeah, I'm not gonna carry on. If you've got any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like them down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't give us a thumbs down, and please share this video with anyone else that you think needs to watch this video. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.